want to document this really an interesting anatomy here. Um, you can see down here, this is piriformis muscle here. It's just the nerve anatomy is very unusual. So there's two main piriformis muscles with the later, lateral division transiting between them. And then the medial uh, or anterior muscle belly is also split and there's another nerve coming through it. And then this patient has had a um, total hip arthroplasty and the tendon is scarred down very tightly over the um, medial division as well. That's anatomy I've never seen before. <laughs> really interesting specific configuration. And also it's not something that's described in any literature anywhere. Anytime you look up like piriformis muscle anatomy, you'll get like this little drawing that has six basic, you know, six different sort of variations in terms of the anatomy, but this is not one of them. The surgery is a little bit like that game you played as a kid, that pick up sticks. It's all about trying to remove this, these muscles that are all intertwined with the nerves. I mean, if you have a single muscle, which is the most common configuration, it's much more straightforward. But when, when you start to get muscles that are splitting and nerves passing between muscle bellies and stuff, then, then it's like, it can be quite a challenge sometimes to get the, the muscle out. I'm the only one I'd want to be doing this case on me. This is a, you know, this is a very tough one because of the anatomy here. You always gotta be careful when you're doing this because, you know, again, I've done close to 450 of these surgeries. I've never seen that. So if I just assumed that it was just the regular and just start blasting through here, you know, you could damage that nerve. So you always, every case has to be like, you assume you're gonna find something you never saw before sort of thing. We are all done with the case. Um, as you can see, all those pieces of muscle have been removed from where they were. The last video left off, we were having to take the muscle out and leave, and leave this nerve intact, which we were able to do safely. You can see that the piriformis muscle is totally gone. This is a very uh, complicated case just because of the way that piriformis muscle is really honeycombed with the nerve passing through in several different spots. So I think this will give you a lot of relief.